Good morning, my fairy friends. It is Saturday morning and we are doing book review day today and we are talking about Adam Grant, the brilliant Adam Grant. He really is a brilliant, brilliant individual. Um, he's got a book out called Think Again. Um, and I know I said think. <laughs> my kid always takes Mick out of me the way I say think. And uh, like I said before, it's because of my tongue tie. And that's my excuse when I was five years old and a person on my tongue. And so I kept, I've I've got habits ingrained. Anyway, that's the reason why I say think again. So it's called think, T-H-I-N-K, think again. Um, it really, really is a terrific book, um, a thought-provoking book as well. So what is this book about? This book is all about challenging your assumptions. And if COVID has te taught us, teach us, taught us, <laughs> one thing is to challenge our assumptions. What we believe to be correct and true isn't necessarily the case. So we've got to challenge what we believe, challenge our assumptions. Who'd have thought we'd be all working from home? Who'd have thought, you know, that, uh, that the food deliveries would have taken off? Who'd have thought that the internet would have gone absolutely bonkers with shopping um, and had a 10 year growth within a space of 13 months? It's, it's incredible. So this book is all about challenging your assumptions, rethinking what you think you know. Just because it's always been done this way, it doesn't mean it always should be done this way. Oh, this is so, so true and so, so correct for, for now, for us. So we need to challenge what we believe in because sometimes it's so untrue. It's untrue. So what did I get out of this book? Well, I got, I got so many things. So here's a couple of them. We must think about reasons why we might be wrong instead of why we might be right. That should be the quote, actually. Oh, I love that. We must think about reasons why we might be right instead of why we might... Sorry, we must think about reasons why we might be wrong instead of why we might be right. So always, always look at how you could be wrong in a, in a situation and circumstances because that will improve you long term. But most people, what we do is think about why we are right and try to convince the other people that we are right instead of trying to prove it to ourselves by thinking how we could be wrong in the first place. Love that. People are blind to their strengths and also to their weaknesses. Yes, that is so good. Those who can't do, don't know they can't do. Oh yeah, people. And I, I put myself in this as well. There's no doubt about it. I am blind to my weaknesses. Sometimes, of course you are. Like podcasting, I can podcast. <laughs> people are blind to their strengths and also their weaknesses. Those who can't, don't, know they can't. Oh, yeah. A bit of knowledge is a dangerous thing. Um, if you know nothing about football, this is my example, by the way, if you know nothing about football, you won't ever challenge what the coach does. But the people who know a teeny, weeny, little, little bit about football start challenging what the coach is doing, what Pep Guardiola is doing, what Klopp is doing, what you know Jose Mourinho is doing. They will challenge those individuals. And by the way, I'm talking about soccer for you Americans. They will challenge those individuals because they know a little bit about it. They know just enough, just enough to disagree with the experts. But if you know nothing about a situation, then you will never challenge the, the, um, the experts. So a little bit of knowledge is dangerous. My biggest takeaway. Oh, here we go. You have to rethink your beliefs. You have to rethink what you believe. And here's an example. BlackBerry didn't want to invest in a web browser as they thought it would drain the battery too much. They wanted to focus on just email. That's BlackBerry. That is was the biggest phone manufacturer's biggest phone company in the world. And they got it wrong as a decision. Little decisions can make or break your company. So they didn't want to focus on the web browser because they thought it drained the battery. They just wanted to focus on email. They didn't want to invest in text with other networks, i.e. text messages going backwards and forwards with, you know, uh, iPhones, for example, or Nokias, as they thought it would make their device obsolete. Oh, how wrong they was because they didn't invest in that side of a business it made them obsolete. Not investing in that side of a business would make them obsolete. Fundamental decisions, they got wrong. They did so many of the big decisions right, but the biggest decisions, they got wrong and it collapsed the company 
and now BlackBerry, pff, they were brilliant at first, but refused to rethink what they had. Oh, just listen to that. They were brilliant at first, but refused to rethink what they had. And in this book, by the way, there's so many examples like this. It's untrue. Look at Toys R Us. I mean, unbelievable. I've, I've, I've listened and learned as much as I possibly can about Toys R Us. And the fundamental mistake was they didn't invest in tech. They didn't invest in a website. They thought that people would come to the experience to the shops. But they didn't. People change, cultures change, decision-making changes. The world is evolving constantly and you have to be aware of that. And one of the best people to listen to around is Gary Vee. Listen to Gary Vee on this because he's always, always talking about trying to put yourself out of business, spend 10% of your time trying to put yourself out of business. And if you do that, I promise you, you won't go out of business because you are focusing time on innovation, what changes, the economy, the mindset, the direction, the influence of people. If you focus on things like that all the time, where Toys R Us didn't, BlackBerry didn't, you're going to go out of business. The world is evolving. The top businesses 100 years ago, very, very few of them are the top businesses now. The world is evolving so much, especially in this era. So if you rethink your assumptions, I promise you it will stand you in fantastic stead as a business. So... I oh, love it. So who should read this? Oh, I've got a quote, by the way. Um, the quote should have been, um, do, 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 do. Uh, we must think about our reasons why we might be wrong instead of focusing on the reasons why we might be right. That's the quote of the day, uh, quote of the book. Um, so who should read this book? Thinkers, business owners, people who are interested in challenging their assumptions, challenging what they think they believe, what they think they know. People who are open to learning, educating themselves and being better. Any of those people should be reading this book. Brilliant book. Adam Grant is a legend. Absolute legend. Okay, my friends, that is it. Tomorrow, um, oh, we're talking about kindness. A kindness quote. All right, my friends, thank you so much. I love and appreciate you. And I'll be speaking to you tomorrow.